What's happening? Maria, what's good? What's going down? I'm going to get Joel in here in a minute. Get Joel in here in a minute, y'all. How y'all doing? Hope everybody good out there. You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody good out there. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Joel in here in a second. Joel coming in a second. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everybody enjoying that Friday, huh? This cigar is uh, Romeo and Juliet. <clears throat> let me see. Let me see. I'm going to bring Joel in. Hold on, y'all. Boom. Why they not letting me do this? Bring Joel up in here. You get y'all can hear me? What up? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> What's good with you? What's going down with you, man? Ain't shit, man. What you over there smoking on, man? I'm over here on the Romeo and Juliet, man. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 this the short boy. I, I I moved to the short boy. You know what I mean? Because as I get closer to that time to go in there and battle Diz, you know. <laughs> This is my choice cigar to get me in that in that mindset, you know what I'm saying, for later. You re you ready for this, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, man, shit. You know how we do it. What's up, Hells? We in the building, man. What you doing over there? Oh, shit, I ain't doing shit, so I'm down. To, I'm actually down the shore with my wife, man. We down in the Jersey Shore hanging out and shit at some friend's house. Oh, that's word. what's up, man. Word, word. That's, that's what's up, man. You know, I try to sneak in all the family time I can, son. <laughs> gotta do it, bro. You gotta do it, man. Uh, Jersey Shore, probably nice around this time of year, too. Yeah, it's about 85 out here, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna hit the, probably hit a tiki bar after the, after we chop it up and stuff and just hang out and play the beach close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I love it. I love it, man. Live your best life. Yeah, going down, man. Let's shout out a couple of these people. Jason Marcus is in the building. Shadowlands is in the building. What's up? What's up? Petty G's, you know what I mean? AJ, what's going on, man? That's right. Black Nails, what up, man? I know you got that fire. You got that that uh that contest too. I know about Black Nails. Looking for that, you know, raw MC from up north, man. That's dope, man. You giving back like that. Hells, what's up? Jay Heard was popping. You know what yeah. I mean? What's good? Yeah. Yo, so it's been a lot of talking, man. It's been a lot of talking out there, man. How you wanna how you wanna do this, man? You wanna jump into the announcement? What you wanna do? I don't know, man. What the people wanna talk about? The people I mean, there's a lot going on, man. You see Well, first off, you see Royce is parading around um saying a lot of bullshit. Right. I don't fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of dishonest, sound like he's speaking from an emotional point, standpoint, gibberish that it's just not, I don't know, man. I don't want to make this a, I don't want to make this a downer, this live, because I always, yeah. you know, I feel good talking to the people and I don't do these things a lot and I love talking to you on this shit, but honestly, man, it's a lot of garbage, man, that I'm, I'm watching go off and, uh, I don't like it, dog. Yeah, me neither, bro. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, I just feel like we two hardworking MCs, man. We've been in the game a long time, you know what I'm saying? And we work too hard to have our reputations, you know, somebody try to put a question mark on our reputation, you know what I mean? Like, we would do some back backdoor shit, you know, just for some money or, or like we've been hurting and <laughs> All this type of this this narrative, bro, it's crazy. Oh man, it's hilarious. It's crazy. It's like, it's yo, you know, bro. Now I'm, I, I'm. This ain't gonna be some low vibrational shit. You know what I'm saying? This this ain't gonna be no low vibrational shit. We we just, you know, we just gonna discuss a couple things. But you know, um, you know, 
I saw a couple clips last night. I was in the studio at 3 in the morning with the shoe gang. Shout out to the shoe gang. You know what I mean? Yeah. My nigga Frank Nitty and Divine was in the building, too. And Divine showed me some shit, man. And I haven't been watching all them Mav Hoffa clips. You know, I just see them here and there. I ain't really been watching them because Royce was on there, you know, doing his thing. I thought he was just over there um, promoting his heaven experience. You know what I mean? Um, EP or greatest hits with an EP attached to it, something like that. And, uh, you know. I just hear so many crazy things. Like when you say that we made more money standing next to Joe Button than we ever did in our career, man. Do you know what time? Like, like that's damn near a joke, man. <laughs> I didn't see that. that. Yeah, bro. He said that me and you made more money standing next to Joe Button than we ever did in our career, and it's like, bro, Slaughterhouse split the money four ways. How the fuck did we? What? Where's this money you speak of? You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel, I feel like shit. I missed out. Maybe I need to go look at what they. Maybe maybe they was getting more or something. What? Four ways? It's like dog. Hey, and we talk. Hey, hey, talk. I hate talking about money shit. I never. I never was what I did. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really. I don't really like to dive into that. But I'll say this right. Like my whole solo career, every single move I made has made more money than Slaughterhouse has made me. Bro, I'm just keeping it all the way a thousand. So for him to say that, like he's really, really reaching, man. I, I'm really wondering why he's why Roy. I'm make sure I'm saying his name, Royce. I'm wondering why Royce is choosing the money angle so hard. Like you know, he said that for, first of all, he said we did rise and fall for money. Then he's saying the most money we made is next to Joe Bun. Why is everything he talking about about money? All we and did about Joe. Fall was say it's why slaughterhouse ain't happening no more. And he just spun all types of different narratives to seem like a victim. And that shit is bullshit. Ain't nobody. Yo, I would hope nobody in Slaughterhouse is pressed for money. Yeah, Honestly. for real. Honestly, because we, we all was something before Slaughterhouse, dog. Like, dog, listen, I <laughs> met you in 2007 on the cover shoot of the Double XL magazine. The first, the first freshman cover. That's where I met you. This is before Slaughterhouse existed. We was already getting on covers of national magazines before Slaughterhouse existed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, yo, how the fuck are you going to say that? Man, we made a sacrifice. Slaughterhouse was for the culture. We yeah. was coming together doing that for the culture. All those trips and studio times and all that shit, we did that for the culture. We knew that the bag wasn't going to be what it should be until later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We knew that that bag wasn't going to be what it needed to be until later. We did that shit for the culture. So to say that we made the most money, I feel like you really think that we beneath you. You think that we have been beneath you all this time because you feel like that amount of money that we all made was the most that we ever made. And I hate to talk about the money too, but the, the, I'm just saying like, if that's what you think, then you must have thought that we have been beneath you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. So it's like, it's like when, you know, when, you know, check the resume, bro. Like, check the resume. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I don't produce joints on Tupac. You know what I'm saying? I don't produce, I don't, I don't ghost written for, for niggas that's in niggas top fives. You know what I'm saying? If what I got to do, start showing off, start gathering all my plaques and all, man, that shit is phony, corny shit. It has nothing to do with the art. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the art, man. You know what I mean? What do you want us to do? Start being flashy and shit and all that? Like, that's that's trip. I can't even believe that they took that angle. They try to run with this narrative like niggas is hurting and we, you know, was doing bad and we made it back. No, man. Ten years passed by and y'all didn't do nothing, man. Ten years and the fans is just sitting there waiting on some new Slaughterhouse music. Ten years, man. That's, that's what happened. Ten years yeah. flew by. And all this, we could have got this deal and that deal. Could have, would have, should have. You had 10 years to do all that. Now why are you so passionate anyway, man? Yeah, that did. Right, like, it's like we vibrate low the minute we start talking about that shit. Like, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Especially since we got our album coming September 16th. Hey! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, since they're they going to get Harbor City season one, you know what I'm saying? September 16th. You know what I mean? Hey, so tell them again. Tell them again. When is the album dropping? 
Yeah. Harbor yeah. City, season one. You know what I'm saying? September 16th. Tune in hear that? Boys, man. Y'all hear that? September 16th. Harbor City is the title of the album, season one. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man, son. September 16th, uh, 916. It's coming. They got a bit, they going they gonna appreciate this art. They gonna appreciate this art, man. I'm so proud of what we did, Crook. I'm so yeah, proud me too. of push the art, man. We really I don't I'm never the toot my own horn guy, but I listen back and I'm like, damn, this is a this is special, man. This is nice, man. It's different. It's different. It's it's not uh it's not what you would expect, man. And I love it. <laughs> hey, so 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 let's get into the details a little bit of the record, man. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just tell my, my big homie, j Dog. you know what I mean? Hey, man, I will put you on all my albums. You know, you my guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> big homie j Dog say, I'm not on it, cuz. <laughs> but anyway, yo, why the name Harbor City? Why the name Harbor City, right? Well, I'm from the East Coast, New York, and we border the Atlantic Ocean. You get what I'm saying? You from L.A., California, you border the Pacific Ocean. We both near them bodies of water, harbor cities, cities that operate through the harbor with similar stories, even though we was on opposite sides of the country. Mm. We, now, we, now, we now making that one place. We making that one place. It's called Harbor City. It's me and Crook. I <laughs> I can't even begin to, to get into the levels of fucking artistry we paint on this shit, man. Yo, it's listen. Listen, guys. Two cities on the opposite side of the map, both on the water, Harbor City. These cities are being combined into one to show you the common thread between me and Joel Ortiz. Housing Authority, I grew up on Section 8. That's Housing Authority program. We have so many similarities. He was in the projects. It was wild shit going on. I grew and up in gang sets. It was wild shit going on. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we just some poets who wanted to tell our story. And we merged them two cities together and made one city, Harbor City. And this is season <laughs> one. Season one, man. Season oh. one. Yo, Crook, ain't it crazy? We grew up on opposite sides of the countries with similar stories about, wait, 2,800 miles away from each other. And the first time I met you was at the XXL cover shoot. The Ooh. first time. How ah, that? That's some tough shit, dog. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy, man. That's God. That's God. That's the universe. The universe put us together. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And we still here rocking. You know what I mean? And I love it. Hey, what's up with you, uh, Watts? Watson in the house. Don Blanco, what's, pop, what's popping? What's up, everybody that's in here with us, man? Everybody that's in here with us, man. We fuck with y'all. Yeah, man, for real. Even if y'all in here with some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you could be anywhere in the world on a Friday, but you're in here with us. <laughs> yeah, and that's, and that's really, and that's the whole thing. We really want to make sure that y'all understand that. You know, we call ourselves blue collar MCs because even though we own our own businesses and we bosses in that level, we work for y'all when we go in the booth. It's part of it is therapy and medicine for everything that we've been through in our lives and seen and everything we survived in our lives. I'm going to say that and ended up thriving, by the way. But part of it is medicine and therapy. And the other part is we work it for y'all, man. And that's what we've been doing from the gate, man. And that's just what, that's the reason why some of that I don't be tripping on because you go rap about it. Go rap about it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I know Keno don't rap, but here, turn the beat on, put Keno on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. niggas start rapping, man. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's going to start looking like the reason you ain't rapping about it is because you can't come on the level that me and my man Joel Ortiz is on. You feel me? When the That's mic turned on, man, we on some real, we on some, our, the pen is always moving. You feel me? It's always moving. Yo, so, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this, Crook, I'm going to say this, man. 
I'm not above a diss record, my nigga. You get what I'm saying? All I did on that last album was tell the fucking truth. I told the fans why there was no more Slaughterhouse. That's it. Yeah. I didn't yeah. do anything. I didn't call niggas out their names. I didn't do anything but say the truth. But if niggas keep it up, I'm not above a diss record, bro. I'm not right. above that. I, I don't do lives and shit like that. All my peoples know that. Everybody that know that I'm on here. I don't do this. This is not my thing. I, I get in the booth and I rhyme. That's my thing. So just leave me alone, man. I'm not bothering you. I said my truth. I haven't mentioned anything since March. I said why they didn't yes. watch get no more slaughterhouse shit, and then I was off of it. You don't see me on no social media platforms talking about no bullshit. You don't see me anywhere saying, yo, let, I ain't drag it like we dragged the group for 10 years. I didn't want to do that. We got that shit off so people could say, all right, slaughterhouse is done. All right, cool. Now I want to continue to make music with my brother and solo. I just want to make music. It's always what it's been about for me. Right, but, me too. But stop. Don't, don't say disrespectful shit, man. Like, yeah, why are you doing disrespectful out. shit? Cut it all the way out, man. You know, like, we talking cut about money. We talking about money. We talking about, uh, you know, niggas' business acumen. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit really hit, hit a spot. You know what I'm saying? That shit hit him in his chest. Hearing that, hearing that truth, you know, you yeah, spin, you spinning stories. You, t you know, what I'm saying, like it's just, it's a lot, man. You crouched up on this couch, slanted on mad shit with the straw in your mouth, looking sloppy. Knock it off, man. Leave me the fuck alone, man. Leave me yeah, alone, man. man. Knock it all the way off because, you man, know if you too, man, you and in, you instigating too, bro. I seen a couple of them clips. It's, you ain't in the middle ground on this shit. I see you niggas leaning. Yo, if you ever wondered, maybe they felt jealous. What the you know fuck what are we jealous of, my nigga? <laughs> fuck you talking about? Jealous of what? What are we out here jealous of? I'm out here winning. Crook is out here winning. What are we what talking are we about? What jealous of? That's what? what I'm saying. Like, dog. Dog. And his man next to him. I don't know his man next to him, too, to do that. Yeah, pink, pink shirt. shirt. Yo, knock it the fuck off, Come man. on, dog. Y'all, listen, man. Whenever it's, it's always two sides to a story. Sometimes it's three sides to a story. You know what I'm saying? After 10 years of blood, sweat, and tears of trying to put together a slaughterhouse group that I, you know what? And I'm going to be honest with you. That was God, man. For me, I'm a, I'm a spiritual guy. I'm not, I'm not super big on religion. I've, I've studied almost every religion that there is known to man. I'm spiritual. I, got, I like to keep a connection with the most high. And that was just straight up to me. That was God. That was the universe saying, yo, in your heart of hearts, crook, you don't even want to stand next to Joe. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. come from two opposite worlds, him and I. You feel me? He don't move how I move. You understand? Right. And I don't hate him, but I don't want to stand next to people who do the kind of things that he does. And that's just facts. So yeah. God was just like, yo, you know what? You trying to save the group. You trying to save this group so bad. Yeah. You're trying to bring a deal to the table so bad so the group can go out there for the fans one last time. Stop it. Go rap with your homie. Yeah. And well, that's when, what I they did. Said they, they said they could put a new slaughterhouse together, right? Yeah, go do that. I'm not mad at that. Go, Y'all go ahead. Pick somebody up. Go ahead. Go pick up, some, uh, pick up some dudes off the bench or whatever you want to do and put them in there and say, all right, that's the new shit. I, to ask me if I care. I don't care about that shit. Just none of y'all niggas mentioned me. And stop talking about Tony because Tony is a good friend of mine. And we got business outside of rap. And I've been doing business with this man for over a decade. And he has helped Royce in his career. He's helped Joe in his career. They're not saying this stuff to these people, man. They're yeah. getting on these platforms and they're not keeping it real. He helped you guys with y'all's careers, man. He financed some of those projects that your fans love, man. Come on, bro. Tony is not that guy, man. I'm deeply offended when you're talking like that about Tony. You know what I'm saying? Because he's helped you, my brother. So let's stop all the madness. Kino, you sent Tony a text thanking him for his involvement in Royce's career when y'all got the nomination for the allegory. You sent him a text thanking him, man. Stop going on these platforms and falling victim. I don't know if you're trying to promote or what you're trying to do, my brother, but stop. 
just cut it out because you already know that the man has helped you guys, man. And he hasn't done anything wrong to you guys. You just mad because of his involvement with the rise and fall. He know I've been rapping about my life my whole life. And that's something that happened in my life. So I Kino, rapped about it. That's out, it. Man. Kino, you know? fuck out, man. Kino, you ain't, come on, man. Knock it the fuck off, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you looking like you ain't even supposed to be at these interviews, man. They got you sitting near the windows. They got, you, they got you sitting on portable air conditioners, my nigga. Like, nigga, nigga leave my name out your, like, knock it off. What are y'all doing here? And you know stop dividing. Stop bringing that division, man. They talking all, you know, this, we can't keep a, letting the white boys control us. And we can't keep white boys, white boys, white boys, my nigga. You rap with Eminem. Paul Rosenberg is giving you a million opportunities. Orchard is not black owned. Sony, your first deal is not black owned company. Your monster sponsorship is not a black owned company for Monster Energy Drink. It's cool for you to have partners, white partners, but <laughs> I, we can't have a partnership. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is hip hop, bro. We out here, we out here uniting the culture, man. We uniting the culture. Stop, man. Just just stop, my brother. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Just stop, I, man. Because honestly, honestly, I I haven't seen Joe say anything since since uh the rise and fall, to be honest with you. So I got I got no you know, when we when we when we ran into Joe after the live, he said he wasn't gonna say anything else about anything. And right. he had, he kept it one hundred. You know what I'm saying? So I really I got nothing to say in regards to that. You know what I'm saying? But this whole fucking, <laughs> this whole campaign rolling out an album to respond with lies is crazy to me. Like, what are you doing, man? You know what I'm saying? You trying to help those, you trying to help those sales along? Cause remember when we dropped the Rise and Fall, niggas was like, well, let's see the numbers. Remember that was a whole thing? Let's see the numbers. Right. I saw, I saw them having experienced numbers. Me too. Them shits looked like they was in hell. This nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like they in hell, bro. You get him Hey saying? dog, but look, let me let me put it like this though. Just for people to understand. I do not hate Royce the Five Nine. I don't hate him. You know what I'm saying? I do not hate this brother. Okay? I want y'all to really understand that. I don't hate Royce the Five Nine. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is. This is part two. He came out after he heard the album and the shit after he heard Rise and Fall and he got a lot off his chest. He said some disrespectful things. Cool. Didn't even trip. Now he on part two of his. That's my, that's my thing though, Crook. This is part two. You know you what I'm saying? You have time to sit and think of, before I understand, you feel like you got blindsided with an album. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Damn, them niggas just put all our shit out there. Oh, man, why would they do that? You're going to go on your rant. You're going to go do what you got to do. You feel a way. It's all good. We talking months later, and nobody has said nothing about nothing. And now you, you've had time to sit and think with, your, with yourself. You, you've had time to think about, you know, your thoughts and how you want to roll things out and how you want to be perceived in public. And you choosing to come at me, come at you. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing yeah. that? That's not cool, man. That's, that's not, not cool. cool. So, you know, that's the whole thing I'm saying is like, you on part two, and I get it. They asking the questions. You responding. You're not ducking no conversations. I don't expect you to duck no conversation. You know what I'm saying? I get that part wholeheartedly. But painting this narrative in that room, that energy, you know what I'm saying? That we are, it's coming across like, People feel, and possibly Royce and Joe, felt that we've been beneath them this whole time. You know what I mean? And that's disheartening, you see? But anyway, it's Friday. And we got a new album coming out. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that we got to be in here talking about that shit, Crook. Especially since we got a fucking great album on the way. New music, that's all I ever wanted to talk about. Anybody that knows me knows that's what I've always been about. You know what I'm saying? The negative vibration, that ain't, ain't even me, man. We trying to vibrate higher out here, man. You get what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. 916, we got Harvest City Season 1. 
You know, nine sixteen, nine sixteen, save the date. Yeah, yeah, me and you again. You know what I'm yeah, saying, man. Back at back at them pens, pads, and beats, bro. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful thing. I'm happy we get to get the fans. You know what I'm saying, something. And Tony, everybody out there listening, Tony is gonna update you on the vinyl. I think later today, he's gonna update you guys on the vinyl. So. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with Tony. You know what I mean? And um, he's going to update everybody on the vinyl situation. Uh, and we just really appreciate y'all. And, and I hate that we even had to go there, but, you know, we can't just we can't <laughs> just sit back sometimes and just let everybody, you know what I mean, just smear us to death, man. It's like, come on, bro. Um, this album has nothing to do with the rise and fall of Slaughterhouse, nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? This will be our third, our third official album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to me, that's a beautiful thing. You know, what up, my man Fong Sai in here? You know, he produced on the album. I see arsonists in here. Yeah. I already know the heat makers got makers. busy. You know what I mean? My guy. You know see what I'm you saying? There. So, you know, we uh we definitely my homie said, "Play something." We go, we go. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta wait. <laughs> we gotta wait. But uh, I just wanna, I just wanna end on a high note. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanna, I wanna end on a high note because at the end of the day, we love the culture. We love the people who support our music. You know what I'm saying? And we love doing what we do, bro. And and life is good. You know and what I'm saying? And I'm not, listen, regardless, like I said, I'm not talking about that no more, man. This is it. This live is it. I'm not addressing none of that shit. There'll probably be more clips that come out with some uh, some dishonesty and some, uh, you know, comments meant from harbored feelings. Harbor. You know what I'm saying? Harbor! Pun intended. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm done. That's it. I, my, my whole, I'm done. I don't want to hear about it. If they say that we was uh, uh, grimy and, and uh, we went and got a bag, it's a lie. I'm not addressing it no more. If they said we made any moves or, uh, you know, out of jealousy, it's a lie. I'm not addressing that anymore. I'm making music with my friend. And that's it from here on out. And I'm, the same, and I'm on the same thing. You're not going to see me on live. They can keep shouting it to the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, the, the, you just, it just ain't even healthy. I, I got out of the group for that reason to keep my mental health and my shit going up to be the best version of myself and not some low vibration guy so you know i'm yeah. not we're not going we're not going to address this no more you know what i'm saying from yeah. here on out it's all about harbor city season 1 you know what i mean and um dog yeah that's, that's it <laughs> september 16th you know what i'm saying we're going to offer y'all something else and it ain't stopping from there. And I'll leave that there. Just know that that's season one. Um, we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep doing what we do, putting together this art. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, and yeah, Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye, before Slaughter. We yeah, always been that. Don't forget before. them two guys. <laughs> that's what's before. up. Same guys. Hey, man. So y'all enjoy y'all weekend and shit, man. Crook, I'll hit you up later to talk about some artwork shit. Let's do it. All right, bro. All right. All right, peace. Send me the link to the merch. Hells. Hells say send the link to the merch. <laughs> we going to have some merch. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here.